there is a drain pipe that comes from this downspout, the gutter here. I don't know if it's clean. I don't know where the water goes, but I know we just get a lot of standing water down there in the bottom left of the yard. Um, I don't know if it was designed to do that because it's away from the house and it's fine to puddle out there, or if it should be extended further. Um, but it's really that's the only spot that. And it's just right over here. Yeah, and there's all that white cap sticking out of uh, the yard. Yeah, I don't know. I guess that serves. I think the drainage pipe goes up there. I think some your septic tanks are under there somewhere. Septic? No, we don't. Have you don't? No, we're not. Don't they have a septic tank here? We're on the city. Ah. City water. City water. And that was for city water. What is that? That white cap out there. The white cap is. Um. There is always a opportunity to clear out your plumbing lines from the yard. And if you start looking at houses front yard, usually you see those out there. Apparently yours goes that way. So and that's a wastewater line. And they can put different things in it in the event that you have a clog going off the main. That's the main, I think that's the main sewer line. It, and and, and that's, that's what it appears, a three and a half, four inch pipe with the square cap. You can put a wrench on it and undo it. Yeah. So it's like cracked at the top, the plastic casing. Sure. Does that matter? Um, I wouldn't say it was catastrophic, but um, I mean it is sewer lines, and they mentioned that there is a gas in there, which is methane, and it's just not real healthy. But um, I'm gonna make the bet that probably 20% across America is broken, if not more, because well, motors hit them. Yeah. Yeah. You can't stop from hitting them. Yeah. And the thing that I have done in the past, actually, with some homeowners, it, it bugs them to the point of having me do stuff to it, is I take the white cap off, and we can cut them down so that, that they're there but harder to find, which mm -hmm. it's, it's not really good all, always if, if you need to find it, but it's, it's actually rare. But, um, you know, you, you put, put a stone on it or something mm -hmm. so that, yeah. that maybe, you know, the next family knows where the thing is. Um, regarding drainage, the only way to solve that is to try to find a lower spot than what you have and develop a French drain system. A French drain system? Mm -hmm. What's that? Um, basic description would be a channel cut in the ground to whatever depth that you would need to to form a, a, a continuous slope away from your home or away from the pooling area. Mm -hmm. And um, it would be roughly four to six inches wide, and it's usually four to 12 inches deep. You put in corrugated tubing that's got slits in it that allow water inside. It forms uh, actually a current across the bottom of it, and you cover the top side with rock. Mm -hmm. And if water doesn't enter it in lots of places, for example, you have a, a pooling area here, a run for 30 feet out the back of your lot, then you can have grass on the top. And if you don't put the grass then, then if you have a slope like you do, you want water to access it from the top, then you leave the rock visible and um, lots of different rock choices. Okay. All right. It's probably low on my priority list, but it'd be nice to sure. figure out if... Uh, Where's the pooling? Where's the water accumulated? There, there's like in the back a, corner? To, yeah. To, like along the left fence line, like a, a foot or two in from the fence line. Sure. In the back. Okay. Um, yeah, we've, we've actually got another family in Durham off Trinity. We're doing one right now. And it's it's a uh, it's a it's a, a basically uh, for lack of a better term a ditch. Hmm. And whether you see that ditch or not, but they've got a a point where they have two big AC units pumping a lot of water, and we'll make a drain point, and the water accesses that runs along in a positive slope away from their yard, actually to the back, much like yours, and um, a natural slope will will uh, uh, remedy all that. You got some nice sloping land. It looks like, and, and you know, without anything else, it, you, you're just kind of sending the problem another direction. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, the neighbors sometimes, but um, mm -hmm. you know, they they often have recourse similar. <clears throat> but um, yeah. All right, last is just the, the house outside. Okay. Here. And uh, let's see, we got two ceiling fans and a bath fan. Yep. Okay.